All right, so our product is a ultra secure programmable lock box. Uh, there's four locking mechanisms, uh, a keypad, three potentiometers that act as tunable knobs, a piezoelectric sensor that's under here, as well as our fingerprint sensor. Uh, the keypad, the piezos, and the three pots are all programmable by the user once the box is unlocked, uh, and all the user interface is through the TFD LCD screen over here. So Cam's gonna demo real quick. Uh, so when you get the box, you have like the factory settings, and currently the four digit code is one, two, three, four. So if you put in something that's incorrect, so like one, two, four, five, it'll say wrong passcode. But if you put in one, two, three, four, you get in. Um, and then it waits for uh, four seconds and then gives you the next prompt, which is to configure the potentiometers. Right. So this is kind of like the classic three number combo lock, except it's analog. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, what's up guys? So I've had many late nights where uh, I'm just aimlessly buying crap off eBay and uh, you know, two, three weeks later, you end up with a bunch of little mini boards that you have no idea what you're going to do, do with, uh, or like 50 passive infrared sensors uh, that ha you'll use them someday. Uh, well, anyway, that someday is today for these boards that I actually bought off eBay. And uh, what you're looking at here is an Arduino-controlled FM radio. Uh, and the reason I built this is because just this morning I was trying to stream NPR online and sure enough, you know, it was skipping around like crazy. And uh, I was thinking, God, this is crazy. It's an FM radio station, you know. So I looked around. I couldn't find an FM radio, so I built one. And uh, this whole thing is controlled, like I said, from an Arduino. This is an Arduino clone down here. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get one of these. It's basically just a little 328 breakout board uh, and uh, kind of like the Arduino Pro Minis. Uh, so we have the Arduino down. can be prevented or cured if diagnosed correctly. Although eye care services have become increasingly available, diagnosing diseases like diabetic retinopathy is still a challenge in many parts of the world. India is the diabetic capital of the world. Diabetes affects retina and leads to something called as diabetic retinopathy. If we see the patient at an early stage of the diabetes, we can treat these patients conservatively by controlling the diabetes and applying some laser treatment. So how do we make diagnosis of diabetic retinopathy affordable, accessible, and high quality? The Open Indirect Ophthalmoscope is a portable retinal camera that uses machine learning to make diagnosis not only affordable, but also accurate and reliable. Our dedicated team of designers and engineers strive to build an open device that can be easily printed and assembled anywhere in the world.